a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. Hey guys, welcome to our vlog. Finally, we turn this dream into reality. As we explore Istanbul and Cappadocia in 5 days, I'm gonna show you the iconic beauty of this country and definitely will share our stories. But before moving on, baka isa ka rin sa mga taong nandito sa UK na nagtatanong kung paano at kung magkano magagasto sa pagpunta dito. So paano nga ba kami nakarating dito? Dahil budget plan tayo, Wizz Air pinili namin. Cheaper compared sa ibang airlines. So in general rules, early booking, mas mura. Airfare varies depending on where you're flying from and when you book. We booked our ticket 2 months before our flight, kaya nakuha namin yung ticket ng £72 each. Consequences na discover namin sa Wizz Airlines, very strict sila sa luggage. You might need to pay additional fee during your check-in, gaya ng experience namin. We paid additional €60 Euro each trolley. I don't understand as well kung bakit kinakailangan namin bayaran yung dati naman naming hand carry lang. But that is their rules. So yun na nga. We finally reached the destination. And welcome to Istanbul. Pag kalapag nyo pala ng airport, umamangha na kayo. Ah, uh, ako pala, namangha ako. Ewan ko na sa inyo. Ang laki kasi ng airport nila at saka clean looking. Sa airport nga pala, bumili na kami ng SIM card kahit isa lang. At least we have something to use to navigate places habang namamasyal. Tsaka mag-Uber sana kami. Kaya lang, sabi nila mas safe daw yung taxi. Kaya nag-taxi na lang kami. So ayun na nga, hinatig kami ng taxi from Istanbul Airport going to the Galata Master Hotel kung saan kami naka-check-in. Around 900 Turkish Lira or 22 pounds only. Mga 35 to 45 minutes drive or maximum 1 hour depending sa traffic status ng kalsada. So, eto na nga yung hotel kung saan kami nag sa Istanbul for only 55 pounds for two nights. Malinis at very accessible sa mga tourist spot gaya ng Galata Tower, Basilica Sister, and Hagia Sophia, Blue Mosque, Grand Bazaar, Spice Bazaar. Lahat yan walking distance around 20 minutes and, well, sana naman tayo sa lakaran. BRP or Biometric Residence Permit is only applicable for BRP holder. At ito naman yung link for visa processing. Balik click nyo lang yan sa phone o sa computer browser nyo at mapupunta ka na sa section na to. Piliin nyo lang Philippines kung Philippines passport kayo. Then ordinary passport, then security verification, then select the arrival date in Turkey. Then read and check nyo lang yung lahat ng nasa checklist na yan and fill up all the relevant information. Then proceed for payment, verification message will be sent through your email, and then there you go. Around 10 to 15 minutes, may visa ka na for only 20 USD or around 16.20 pounds lang. So rainy and windy. Parang meant to be yata. Kaming mabasa ngayon. Kasi sabi nung nandun sa uh, hotel, yung receptionist doon. Matagal na daw since umulan dito. So ayan na nga. Parang inihingal na agad ako. tower na dapat ay pupuntahan namin. Kaya lang, hindi yata meant to be na mapuntahan. Kasi tara! Under construction. And it's raining at ayun na nga. Bigo. So, punta na lang kami sa ibang lugar nearby. <laughs> so this is the blue mosque named for its patron this mosque is one of the most iconic images of istanbul and its nickname highlights the blue hood tiles that it's famous for this was sultan Ahmed's 7th century answer to hagia sophia the minarets of the Blue Mosque revealed the ones in Mecca and the mosque has no entrance fee and there's usually a long line but it moves fairly quickly 
and as with all moss, your legs and shoulders must be covered, no shirts for men and women, and if women are wearing short pants, then they will be given a large long skirt to step on over and also something to cover their hair. And also you have to remove your shoes before entering inside and there's a place there to park your shoes. And now when you get out, don't forget to take a minute to appreciate the view looking toward Hagia Sophia and also back toward the Blue Mosque. Well, on a beautiful day, it's quite a treat. Kaya lang, nung bumisita kami, umuulan. At ito naman yung Bosporus Tour. Bosporus Strait is a natural strait located in northwestern Turkey, connecting the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. So basically, Istanbul is split right down the middle by the Bosporus Strait and that creates a division between the European and the Asian side. So you can literally travel to two continents through Bosporus Tour. You can have a lot of options for Bosporus Tour. It could be Bosporus Dinner Cruise with Turkish Night Show or Daytime Yacht Tour with audio guidance snacks or yung 3 hours tour nila like morning tour with free breakfast tapos idadrop ka nila dun sa Asian side for 45 minutes free time shopping or yung afternoon tour with free lunch. Ito yung in namin kasi ito yung sumakto sa itinerary namin. Meron din silang dinner tour with free biscuits and tea. So, sulit na rin kasi marami kang makikita along this tour. Tsaka meron silang tour guide na mag-explain ng mga bagay-bagay na makikita mo sa paligid. For 19 euro, sulit na rin. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so At eto na nga pagkatapos ng aming tour ay napadpad kami dito sa Galata Bridge o Fisherman Bridge. Binansagan itong Fisherman Bridge dahil dito yung matatagpo ang nangingisda ang marami sa mga lokal dito. Nakakatawa rin namang silang panoorin dahil sa dinami-dami nila dito ay napakarami rin nilang nahuhuling isda. Dahil dyan, hindi ko napigilan ang aking sarili na manghiram at sumubok mang isda. Pero mukhang mailap sa akin ang mga isda at wala naman akong nahuli. So ayun na nga, pwede nyo rin yung subukan kung makarating kayo dito. Pwede kayong mang isda, magpapicture ka sa mang isda, uh, este yung mang isda, maglako ng isda, bumili ng isda, makipaglaro sa isda, basta kahit anong trip kasama ang mga isda pwede. <laughs> At eto naman yung isa sa mga classic Turkish breakfast o yung tinatawag nilang Turkish sea meat. One of the most popular street food na matatagpuan nyo dito sa Turkey na tabi-tabi lang yung mga vendor. Turkish version of a bagel more in the texture of pretzels, coated with sesame seeds, crunchy outside, and soft inside. So bukod sa sea meat bread, marami rin sa mga street vendor ang nagbebenta ng roasted chestnut and grilled corn na tabi-tabi lang din dito sa Istanbul. At ito naman yung Turkish Delight. Without a doubt, one of the most popular souvenirs to buy when visiting Turkey is Turkish Delight. Ito yung uri ng dessert na made from starch and sugar and sometimes covered with the light sprinkling of ice powder and different kinds of nuts na sobrang tamis siya talaga. Yung totoo, hindi naman talaga ako mahilig sa matamis pero na-discover ko na kapag nilagay mo pala siya sa ref, nababawasan pala yung tamis niya tas para siya nagiging nogat. At kung hindi ka rin mahilig sa matamis, try mo rin ilagay sa ref tapos saka mo kainin.
Ito naman yung baklava. Very popular dessert din sa Turkey. At sobrang tamis niya na wala akong magawa. Kahit siguro mag yan, matamis pa rin yan. Pero kung sweet lover kayo, then baklava is waving for you. At eto naman yung Spice Market. Travel to Istanbul will not be completed without visiting by the atmospheric Spice Bazaar. And what to find in this market? If you love to cook or you just love to eat, this market is a place to visit, where you can see so many traditional exotic spices. And there are so much friendly vendors that ready to explain spices that you've never heard or never seen before. Isa sa mga kakompleto sa pagbisita mo sa Turkey ay ang pagkain ng kebab. Kaya kung bago ito sa'yo, naku, huwag nuwag mo itong palalampasin. At kung pagkaya ka naman namin na galing ng Middle East, sigurado. Natatakam ka dito, aminin mo. One of the most popular and signature kebab is the Adana kebab that you shouldn't miss to try. At isa sa mga in-order namin ay mixed kebab. At wala din akong masawi kundi ay ang sarap. Kaya naman, we left from the restaurant full and literally ready to burst. For that, I will go inside and I will gonna buy something. Take your time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Passing by, life 
Love is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so ending Somewhere I can't find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out Reach out to the sky Against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way And that's the end of our travel in Istanbul. I hope you like our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. At sana panoorin nyo ang part 2 this time sa Kapadocia.